this is kind of going to be a video going backwards a little bit I would say I've already done a video on adding the second battery and adding my uh, uh, the uh, shore charger here the uh, NOCO Genius but I'm kind of going to do it over start from the beginning do a little bit more detail so um, this is a 2018 Yamaha SX210 it should apply from the 2017 to the 2021 actually pretty much the same boat um, I already have a place for a second battery this is actually a gel cell battery um, and this is the marine battery I'm going to treat this is my uh, actual power the boat battery the uh, start the engines battery and uh, let the boat charge this battery this is going to be my what I call the fun battery that's going to run the uh, stereo and everything when I'm when I am at anchor so anyway I'm going to go kind of cover this a little bit better than I did on the last time um, this is the original switch that came with it, it's just one position so basically what happens here we have all the wires on the ground coming here to the ground uh, terminal on the battery then we have the battery wire which goes to this side of the switch it could actually go to either side it doesn't matter on this type of switch um, so I got this this is the battery wire and on top of that maybe a little hard to read it says auto bilge so what that is is the auto feature on the the bilge pump in other words even if the switch is off if water triggers the bilge pump it will turn on and run until the water's gone and stops or this battery goes dead so even with the switch off it'll power that everything on this side of the switch is off when the switch is off so the only thing that has power in this boat when the switch is off is the bilge pump so what I'm going to do is add a two battery switch and because in some of my other videos I did adding a stereo and all that everything back here has gotten really crowded and jumbled up so I am going to be adding bus bars number one these are from R2X I got them on Amazon they are made in America by American company and they look and feel pretty decent quality I have a, uh, a fuse box I'm going to be adding and I am going to try to figure out how to turn my phone off here. There we go. And this is a, a fuse block I'm going to be adding so I can add a GPS, I can add um, a UHF radio, VHF radio, I'm sorry, and all that, and have a nice fuse block behind the helm. Uh, like I said before, my uh, two battery switch. Um, this is going to be the main breaker for this. I got the cable, the wire, this came from Battery Cable USA. The cable is made in the USA. This is some really good stuff at really good prices. They put the, they, uh, put the lugs on for you as well. Um, the NOCO Genius, and I got some loom here to run my wires through. So I, these are, to me, going to be pretty important electronics that are going to be on this one. So, let me get started. I'm going to take all the wires loose from this switch and wire the new switch and explain that all right let me uh before i mount the switch i'm going to talk about the wiring of it real quick so it might be hard to see in the video but right here there's a one that's for your uh, house battery your, your main battery uh, which will be going to this battery right here then over here i'm sorry right here is it will say number two you're not gonna be able to see it here but that goes over to your second battery positive post and then the third post here is your output and again you'll notice right here this is uh, connected right up to the battery wire this is the bilge pump so that needs to stay connected uh, to uh, for the float switch on the bilge pump in case it ever fills with water even if the battery switch is off it will work so the output comes off and goes over here to my new bus bar. A little hard to see here. Um, and uh, and also the uh, I've got the negative bus bar. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the switch back, tidy everything up, and then kind of do it overall on it. Well, I was really hoping this was gonna come out looking a whole lot neater, but anyway, 
there's only so much you can do. Um, I didn't talk much about the negative bus bar. Uh, basically, all the negatives go together. Uh, they don't go to the switch or anything. So I've got it, you know, going over here to the battery, negative side, and then looping the the batteries together. So all the negatives are together. And that is about it. I do have a cover for it. It'll be going on. And I got the cool. So that's it. it uh, I guess it cleaned it up a little bit. Um, definitely would not have been able to get all the wires uh, hooked up to the switch. I don't think uh, it would have been a real tough job to do that. It's nice having everything kind of separated. Um, the only couple of things left to do is I really need to get some smaller loom to uh, run my ground and these these two cables up here that uh, you're kind of out of sight. But that's it. Really wasn't a bad job. I will say this, when you start hooking things back up or installing these uh, bus bars, put your wires on there and then just kind of put a nut on it to hold it until you are sure you got it run like you want. I took these loose multiple times, changing the configuration around, figuring out different ways to run it to make it look a little better and actually function or you know just not look such a mess um I'm sure there's others out there that could do a better job than this but for now it's it's what i got and um well the no code charger i'm gonna mount that right back here and in the future i'm gonna keep the charger even though i like to say i'll probably swap this gel cell out with a, another marine battery and then just use one battery on one outing and one battery on the other so uh you know let the boat charge it and uh, then just keep the NOCO as a backup. And I also like having it to hook to the batteries over the winter, um, you know, just to keep them topped off. I, I hooked it up to each battery a few times over the winter just to, uh, you know, top it off, keep it maintained. All right. All right, let me talk about the uh, fuse block installation. So the fuse block that I'm adding behind the helm, um, Everything I got to do that with is six um, six gauge marine wire. So what I've done is I come off my bus bar here over to Blue Sea's 40 amp breaker. So I chose this instead of a fuse, um, so you can just reset it. Then it goes from there, obviously out of the boat. I mean, out of this compartment and into here. It's in a loom. So all I have to do, what well runs around here, comes in over here, see it laying here, then goes all the way around. Oh goodness. I got this out too, so you can see it down in laying down in the bottom there. And ultimately, here we go behind the helm and up to this fuse block. So let me take the cover off of this and explain this a little bit. And again, I ran six gauge wire all the way through this. So the, the reason I bought this one, if you notice, the positive and a negative both come to it. So basically, it's a positive and a negative bus bar. So on this side, it's all positive. So the positive comes in here, goes through the fuse, and comes out here on the screw terminal. And then the ground comes in and just does the whole ground. So I put the positive on this side so it'll be a little bit more protected. Um, I looked at several places to put this. I really wanted to put it maybe up here somewhere, but it just didn't work out. And this seemed to be the best place. It's just dead space behind here. So um, anyway, I like it that you have your, your built-in bus bars, basically. Plus, I can run. I plan on putting in a VHF and some sort of GPS. I can run those power lines right through this same loom, which I'm going to mount up uh, on these existing little holders here. And I can run it in the same loom and come out here and have a nice, neat look. So now I just need to tidy things up.